Today, we're going to install the mattress. So stick around. See how we put this thing to bed. So I went down to my local store, purchased some of these little interlocking floor mats, and uh, we're going to put that on the floor of the trailer. Two reasons. One, it'll add a little more insulation, and two, uh, just in case I happen to uh, get on my mattress and bottom out. What he means is, he's got a big butt, and he'll sink like a rock and hit the floor. So to start, we need to take a couple measurements, and uh, from side to side, we know that the inside is 46 and a half inches long, and from the back wall up to our little seam right here is 69 and a half inches. So we need to lay out our mat and make some measurements, take a knife and cut that to fit. Then we'll get in here, clean this up real quick, and uh, lay that in and see how well we did. So I've got things locked in place here, so we're just going to take a couple of measurements and uh, get it marked out, 46 and a half. And then the length, 69 and a half. Take a straight edge, connect our dots, mark our lines. Now that we've got our lines drawn, Mark, take utility knife, cut this. And hopefully it cuts like butter. Now that we have our mats all trimmed and laid out, we're going to uh, go ahead and put those in the trailer. We're going to put the diamond side up. This here is the smooth rubbery side, keeps things from sliding around. Uh, the diamond side is a little slick, so if you put it in there, it's going to slide around when you move your mattress. So this side will be the bottom, and we'll get that set inside. And now we have our mat on our floor. Nice little fit. I could probably trim to another sixteenth of an inch off that side. But we're going to have a mattress over that so that'll weight it down. 
nice, nice and smooth. Quieted things down in here just a little bit. All right, so let's get that mattress out of the box and get it in here. All right, I purchased the uh, foam at Foam Supply. I got a three inch high quality foam with a three inch memory foam. And I also bought the cover for it and uh, had it cut to fit. The only thing I don't know is which side is up. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this open, let it spread out, and then we'll uh, worry about which side goes up. mattress is in so I think it takes oh, maybe a day for the stuff to inflate up it'll be a total of six inches overall height when it's said and done and it's getting there and I did have it upside down so I had to flip it over that was a chore so we got it in there and once that uh, puffs up a little bit more I'm going to get in there and lay on it and see what it feels like. Got that memory foam on top. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's make sure our mats on the bottom are still in place. And then uh, we can call that good. Now, there was still some things I needed to do on the inside as far as finish work goes. I got a little bit of varnish work that I want to touch up. And uh, when I install the fenders, I'll be uh, through bolting everything. So. I'm going to have to move that mattress out of the way, but the mattress arrives and they uh, recommend that you open this thing immediately, get it in place. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe it'll just not, maybe it'll be deformed if you leave it sit there for a month or so. So at any rate, we got it in there and they also say that it'll take about 24 to 48 hours for it to really inflate. I just checked on it again and uh, the wrinkles are starting to come out of the cover so it's still got a little ways to go and uh, it's gonna fit nice and tight and it looks great can't wait to lay on it and see how it feels okay so we've got that part out of the way now we have one other thing that I uh, need to get done and show you and well we'll do it alright so the way that the, my trailer is designed and to fit the axle the trailer isn't a true 48 inch wide trailer. I've got an extra two inches here for this little platform that my axle bolted to. That way it's easy to interchange if ever need to. Uh, my trailer though is 48 inches wide. So what I'm not happy with is the distance that the tires are away from the sides of the trailer. So we need to close that gap up. Right now we're sitting about three inches from the wall and I'd be happy if it was about two inches. The only way to do that is with another wheel. Right now these are four and a half inch wheels 
with 13 inch tires on them, it's 13 inch rim. The uh, back space is probably a little over 2 inches, so it puts it far away from the wall. So, got myself a new set of tires, new set of wheels, deeper back set, and uh, back space. Hopefully, I'll be happy if I'm 2 inches away from the wall. That'll allow for when I get the uh, fenders on that I can through bolt and have a nut on there and not worry about rubbing against the tires. So, how about we pull these new uh, wheels, and rim, uh, wheels and tires out, we'll jack this thing up, we'll change some things around, and we'll take a look at it. I think you're going to like it. Two inches, right in the ballpark, that's where I want to be. Looks good. We'll get the other side on and then I'll give you a shot of the wheels. Alright, now we don't have that so skinny look from the back where everything's stuck out. Yeah, those look good. You want to see the wheels? Eh, we won't see the wheels. Alright, we'll show you the wheels. And there we go. I think it's looking real sharp now. Some American racing wheels. Love that black. Yeah, it's looking good. Well, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching this uh, short video. I know that we didn't uh, do a lot of do-it-yourself, but we did see a little bit of what I did. So, I am happy with the mattress, the uh, foam mattress. The memory mattress is real, real nice, comfortable, and uh, when I lay on it, I don't bottom out. Yeah, well... You still have a big butt. And uh, the new tires and wheels look really good on this thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the way it's turning out. So, we still have a few things that we got left to do. We still have the handle that we need to get uh, installed on the back to make sure we can latch things down. Uh, what else? Oh, we still have to hook up the stove. 
got a little bit of wiring in the back for our lights and I think probably tomorrow I'll go around the outside edge of the uh, trim and add a little bit of ProFlex around that to just seal that edge up and uh, we can call that good but yeah it's coming along real nice oh I still have a lot of trailer lights to get hooked up too so I've been thinking about that and how I'm gonna do it and some fenders so we're almost there I just have to wait for parts to arrive and then uh, get the time to get things installed so until then uh, thanks for watching thanks for putting up with my jabber and I hope you enjoyed the videos if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button that little bell notification for the up-and-coming videos and uh, yeah until next time stay tuned <laughs>